On today's show, BMW is using powerful x-rays to develop better cars, Hyundai opens up a digital showroom on Amazon, and manual transmissions could be headed towards extinction. All that and more coming right up on AutoLine Daily. This is AutoLine Daily, the show dedicated to enthusiasts of the automotive industry. Mannheim is the biggest auction house for used cars in the U.S., but more and more of its transactions are happening online, not on the auction lanes. Ward's Auto reports that during the first half of this year, 45% of the vehicles it sold were to a digital buyer. Mannheim saw double-digit growth in digital transactions, volume, and sales. And speaking of buying cars online, Hyundai just opened a digital showroom on Amazon. Car buyers can compare pricing and reviews, book test drives, and check dealer inventories at the site. For Hyundai, this provides another way for it to reach customers. And for Amazon, this is a step that allows it to compete with AutoTrader and Cars.com. We'll have to watch and see if other automakers will follow suit. Last year, Genesis unveiled a concept called the GV80. One of the styling details that caught our eye is this latticework theme that showed up on various parts of the car. It's on the spokes of all four wheels. It shows up on the intake scoops for the front air curtain. And most intriguing, it's used on the B and C pillars. Luke Donkerwolka, the head of design of Genesis, says this is not some idle styling exercise. He says it involves new manufacturing techniques that they're working on and that this latticework will go into production in the next three years. He says the design team nicknamed it the Belgian Waffle, since Donkerwolke is from Belgium. While the future does not look bright for true enthusiasts, we'll tell you why right after this. Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone Tires, your journey, our passion. Dow Automotive Systems, advanced materials that deliver better results. And by Lear, a global leader in automotive seating and electrical systems. BMW is using X-ray technology at its Research Innovation Center in Munich, Germany to improve quality control even in the early stages of development. The more powerful computer tomography, or CT scanning system, allows the automaker to look at vehicles on a micro level, so it's able to check welds, rivets, and even see how adhesives are affected by temperature without having to tear the vehicle completely apart or it's able to tell if an absent-minded worker left a bag of pretzels on the driver's floor. BMW says it spent two years developing the system, and it's the only one in the automotive industry. Well, we had to laugh over this shot that one of our viewers sent us, calling the manual transmission a millennial theft-proof device. But it goes way beyond millennials. According to data from Edmunds.com, it's a sad day for the manual transmission. So far in 2018, Just 2% of all vehicles sold had a clutch pedal, and only 20% of new models offered a manual transmission. In 2006, 47% of new models offered a manual. With the automatic transmission controlling an overwhelming share of the new car market, the manual transmission could go away, according to Edmunds. Coming up next, Nissan is coming out with a Nismo version of the LEAF. Lear Connexus is the new application suite in vehicle connectivity designed to deliver over-the-air software updates and more from Lear Corporation's eSystems, leaders in power and data management. Well, lots of news in the electric car market today. Nissan has announced a high-performance Nismo version of the LEAF EV, which goes on sale at the end of the month in Japan. It has new wheels, a new suspension, and a new tuning computer that Nissan says will help it accelerate faster. And the Kia Niro EV is on sale now in South Korea. The electric crossover sports a 239-mile range from a 64-kilowatt-hour battery pack. The electric Niro will go on sale in the U.S. in the first quarter of 2019, following a European debut at the end of 2018. And hey, be sure to join us for AutoLine After Hours this afternoon. We've got an all-electric Corvette from a company called Genovation. It's wicked fast and beautifully engineered. 
Greg Migliori from Autoblog will also be there. So join John and Gary for some of the best insights into cars and the people who make them. But that's it for today. Thanks for watching and please join us again tomorrow.